Hi everyone, my name is Danny, and welcome to another week in my life as a grad student. I have a lot of exciting things planned this week, including having one of my friends visit, having two job interviews lined up, and going to see the new Batman movie out later this week. But in order to get the week started, I'm going to the grocery store to get some ingredients for dinner. Once I got back from the grocery store, I put everything in the fridge and then I had to go and get ready for my very first job interview this week. I actually had to put makeup on my face for once because usually I just kind of do my brows and put on some mascara. And I really haven't worn this much makeup in a while, but it did make me feel good and confident going into the interview. Whew, okay, so first job interview of the week is officially done. Um, I think it went pretty well. Um, the two women that were interviewing me were super, super nice. The company that they run is super exciting. It's like a little startup that they kind of started mostly for like marketing for restaurants and stuff. I've just been applying to a lot of jobs on LinkedIn. I usually do like the ones that say like LinkedIn easy apply. So all I have to really do is like attach my resume, put in my phone number and like maybe answer one or two questions. Throughout this whole process thus far, I've kind of been trying to figure out like what I actually want to do with my life. Like, I mean, here I am in college, but I'm trying to figure out like what what's the next step. Because up until this stage of my life, I've always had school, like that's been my primary job if you will so now like not having the security and like the routine of going to school it's kind of hard to figure out like what is my life actually going to look like like post-grad and stuff like that um I guess like in my case like the kind of lucky thing is because my grad program still goes into the summer I have like a little bit of extra like buffer room to kind of figure out what I really want to do I think I'm kind of just like struggling because I have like a lot of skills in like social media kind of stuff and like my undergrad degree in media studies but then I also have a lot of experience in like video production and like film management and like stuff like that so I'm kind of trying to figure out like kind of which path I want to go down. So far I'm looking more towards a social media path like social media manager, social media coordinator, that kind of stuff just because it seems to be easier to find like remote or hybrid job in that space and also might be just a little bit easier for me to like ease myself into the workforce kind of thing. I've been reading a lot of stuff online too about how it's really common for like millennials and Gen Z like I'm kind of in like the real cusp of like going into Gen Z. I'm an old Gen Z. So for these younger generations in the workforce it seems a very very common to like kind of job hop that seems to be a more common thing than was like with um like a lot of people's parents generations. I feel like that's helpful because that lessens some of the pressure where I feel like people are like, oh, you have to find like the job that you love and that you're going to like stay there for years and years. But now I feel like it's much more common for people to like their first job is maybe not the one that they really, really love, but obviously you need to make money to survive in this economy. And then you just maybe don't love it, but you just need the income. So you stay there for a few years and then maybe find something else that you like a little bit more later on. So that's kind of what my thoughts are right now going into this job search sphere situation. So I'm going to go ahead and make some lunch and prepare some dinner in the slow cooker. Tonight for dinner, I am making taco chicken bowls. This is my absolute favorite recipe to make in the slow cooker. It's also super, super easy. So all I really have to do is take some chicken and then a 16 ounce jar of salsa, some black beans, some frozen corn, some garlic, some chili powder, ground cumin, oregano, paprika, and black pepper. And then I just give all the ingredients a bit of a stir before putting it on high for four hours. Then I had to do some reading for my film class, which is all about international co-productions in film. And of course, for dinner, I had a taco chicken bowl topped with cheddar cheese, scallions, and tortilla chips. This morning, I had another job interview to do. So again, I'm putting on some makeup and getting changed into an interview appropriate outfit. I 
I just finished my second interview of the week. I still feel like a little bit jittery, like the adrenaline hasn't quite yet left my body because I feel like this one went really, really well, even better than the one yesterday. The woman interviewing me seemed to really like me and seemed like I had kind of what they were looking for. And she already said she wanted me to bring in me in for a second interview. So ah, this is super exciting. Um, I feel like I didn't, I wasn't expecting this. I think it's because the last time I was kind of interviewing for like jobs and stuff was when I was trying to search for my internship and that was super, super difficult for me. I got so many rejections. So to see already two people like interview me just based on purely my resume is like pretty awesome. So I guess I'm doing something right i know this is kind of generally super intense like hiring season so i hope that if you are interviewing for a job right now or you are applying to jobs right now that you have the best of luck because i know it's super super difficult route right now i have my hopes up right now but who knows they could be crushed relatively soon but so far i am hopeful i am super excited and i'm just gonna go about my the rest of my day now <laughs> after my interview i had a meeting with my internship and my friend Liana is visiting this week, and she, of course, wanted to go to Cheshire Coffee. I'll take this one. Why? I want to. Aren't you hungry, Liana? No. I thought you were hungry. You were, like, starving. No. I'm taking the smaller half. Why? Because I want it. <laughs> I've already you touched it. You want it. Take whatever half you want. I've touched it. Oh and this half. You've touched both halves. <laughs> I can't even smell it. What? It smells good. <laughs> It's good food. Yeah, great. It's food. You're supposed to eat it. It's not candle. <laughs> Then I had to go to my domestic and worldwide production class. We talked about some film studios and post-production houses that are in Europe, including the oldest existing film studio, which is located in Babelsberg, Germany. This morning I'm getting ready for another interview because I got invited to a second interview after my interview yesterday. This interview I also think went really, really well. So this is my follow-up to yesterday morning's interview. And I got to interview with the woman who I will be like kind of directly reporting to and directly helping if I were to have this position. So I thought we had a really good conversation. I think I got a better understanding of what I'll be doing in this role in the day to day, kind of how I'm gonna be supporting her. And I also think I got to really know her really well. I think that both of us like really kind of hit it off. Like we were both like laughing and smiling and like talking about similar things that we have. We kind of have a similar background with film production and stuff like that so I thought we were able to really connect with that and I really hope that this goes well because it would be just awesome to get this full-time position but I am trying to get my hopes up too too much just so I don't get disappointed in the event that you know this that this doesn't work out now I'm doing some reading for my post-production class which is all about the importance of sound and how you would manage sound in the post-production workflow then my roommates and I went to a fun event on campus called a Mountain Film. It's a film festival that showcases films about nature, the outdoors, outdoor sports, conservation, and things of that nature. Today I didn't have much going on except for my post-production class. Today we actually talked to a visual effects supervisor and producer who has worked on a bunch of really well-known projects and he kind of showed us the process from when he is first tasked with adding some visual effects to a project to the finished final product. It was really cool to have someone who does this for a living show us the behind the scenes of that process. This morning I went to the gym and honestly I've been really enjoying going to the gym because I genuinely feel stronger. I feel like it's really good for my mental health and to clear my mind of some excess things I might be thinking about. So today was leg day for me and I've been trying to focus on improving my ankle mobility. So I did some active stretches before I went into doing my squats. So you'll see I have my heels elevated as I'm doing these goblet squats because I find it is much, much easier for me to get the form correct for a squat when my heels are elevated. Although my goal is to be able to do a squat without my heels elevated so much, but I will definitely have to work a lot more on my ankle mobility to get to that point. After the gym, I showered and changed so that Liana, Emily, and I could go to the West Farms Mall. I tried on these jeans at American Eagle and I didn't end up getting them because they didn't fit me quite right. They were a bit long and also they didn't fit my waist correctly. I actually ended up getting some socks from Aeropostale. 
I of course had to get some pretzel bites from Auntie Anne's. The most exciting part of this mall trip is that I finally got to go into a box lunch. This is the first box lunch I've ever been into and it's so huge. There was so many things of, from so many franchises that I really like. There were a bunch of pins, there were a bunch of squishmallows. There was just so many things to look at and I really enjoyed looking at all the things. Then of course we had to go and get Starbucks and a cinnamon roll from Cinnabon. Emily's first time ever trying a Cinnabon cinnamon not, roll. It does not pay to be friends with a vlogger. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> you tell me. That's pretty good, right? <laughs> yeah. Does it not slap? After our mall adventure, we went to the movie theater to go see The Batman. I'm not personally a huge fan of The Batman. However, I did think Robert Pattinson did a great job um, acting as The Batman and I was thoroughly entertained throughout the whole film. <laughs> 